Former Atlanta Mayor Andrew Young has spent his life fighting for racial equality. He was a close friend to the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. and marched in Selma, Alabama in 1965 to secure voting rights. Young was later elected to Congress and became the first African-American U.N. ambassador. In the new children's book, Just Like Jesse Owens, Young teams up with his daughter to write about his own childhood. The book shares a powerful lesson Young learned after Nazi sympathizers provoked racial unrest in his 1930s New Orleans neighborhood. Young's father took him to see a newsreel of track star Jesse Owens winning four gold medals in the 1936 Berlin Olympics. Owens' success showed Young that the best way to fight racism is to focus on the finish line. I like that. Ambassador Young and his daughter Paula Young Shelton are joining us now. Good morning to you both. I just have to say, this is an incredible story about your childhood. You, he asked you to help him in writing this book. But what was it specifically that you wanted people to hear? Well, you know, it was the idea of don't get mad, get smart. Mm. I love that saying. And uh, my daddy started me with that at at four, because I was born in 32, this was 36, and I had an Irish grocery store on one corner, an Italian bar on another. The Nazi party was on the third corner. Mm. And so I, I was born into a mm. conglomerate mess, and uh, I had to get along with everybody. And my father just said, look, you know that God made of one blood all the nations of the world. They think they are special, but that's not your business. That's their problem with God. <laughs> you mind your business and you do the best that you can do and um, you don't ever let people make you angry. Mm. And then I pass that on to Paula, uh, but with her it was different because the little boys were picking on her, but I said, that's because they like you. <laughs> <laughs> and they think you're cute. I said, flip it on them, speak to them. <laughs> Be nice to them, boys and girls. And before you long, she had a uh, had her own little rat pack. <laughs> uh, but I remember the first time I came home to tell you that this boy had called me the N word. Right. Yeah. And I come home to tell my daddy, ready to get all of his sympathy, and he looks at me and says, "That poor little boy." Hmm. <laughs> and what I realized then is that racism was not about me, what other people thought about me was not my problem, mm. and that I really needed to believe in myself and not let other people's racism and ugliness mm. reflect who I was, because I know who I am. Penetrate your soul. Absolutely. The book, Ambassador, leaves you feeling optimistic, mm -hmm. and it gives hope. Well, is but there any reason why anybody in America, as bad as you think things are, yeah. This is a, I've been to 152 countries in this planet. I still look forward to getting back to Atlanta. <laughs> but do you and feel... these United States of America, with all of their problems, we're still better than anybody else. Still hopeful? No, no, not hopeful. It's real. This is not a play game. You know, I mean, I can see in 1960, we went to Birmingham, and we were in Atlanta, because there'd been 60 bombings of people's homes in Birmingham, 150 miles away, and we didn't know about it. So, and so we, they had to come over there and get us and take us back to Birmingham and, and, and get us to help them to straighten out Birmingham. And that's how we began to straighten out the nation. Now, with George Floyd, everybody saw it within nine minutes and 41 seconds. Mm all around the world, all the way down to New Zealand. And so we are focusing on the race problems now, but they're not nearly as bad as they were when I was growing up. But they still do exist. Huh? They still do exist. Oh, they'll always exist because you are a sinner. <laughs> yeah. And you sin and fall short of the glory of God. We're all flawed. You lose your temper every now and then, even with the woman you love the most. <laughs> right. And she gets angry with you. That's life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But don't get mad. Get smart. Get smart. Get smart. Think about it. Why is she upset? I tell you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ambassador Young. Uh, 
Just thank you so much, Paula. You as well. The book is just like Jesse Owens. It is on sale now, and we will be right back.